slides. Let's rewind and just get a little, um, let's go with a pretty basic multi-step problem. We're going to add four to both sides here. That's going to give me 2x equals 4. Divide both sides by 2. Divide both sides by 2. x equals negative 2. The key to solving these equations are the steps. Find the operation. And the second step would be do the opposite operation to both sides. So in that case, we found out the negative 4, the minus was the operation, so we added 4 to both sides. Then the operation was 2 times x, so the opposite operation for that was dividing. And so let me go ahead and run these cancels here. And so we end up with x equals negative 2. The problems that we're going to see tomorrow in class might look something like this. Now, the difference here is we have, um, we have variables on both sides. They are x's, so we can combine them. My advice to you is to find the smallest of the two and combine it with the other one. So if I have a 4x and the 2x is smallest. How do I move the entire 2x to the left-hand side? I don't just want to take the 2, and I don't just want to take the x. I need to take the whole thing. This is a positive 2x, so to get the whole thing to the other side, I'm going to subtract it. So these cancel, and I'm left with 2x minus 8 equals 16. Now, these are just like our multi-step problems from last week and from Monday. I'm going to move the negative 8 by adding it to the other side. Those are going to cancel. That gives me 2x equals 24. Then we divide by 2, and x will equal 12. It's a little bit different because I'm moving the entire 2x to the other side. Let's look at some more. How about negative 18 minus 3x equals 9x plus 6? What I'm going to do here is I've got a negative 3x and a positive 9x, which is smaller, negative 3 or 9. Negative 3 is smaller, so I'm going to take the negative 3x to the right-hand side of the equal sign by adding the whole thing. The reason I add the whole thing is because negative 3x plus 3x is 0. So that leaves me with negative 18 equals 9x plus 3x is 12x. And then I bring down the plus 6. Now the 6 is farthest away from the x. So I'm going to move a positive 6 to the other side by subtracting. Those are going to cancel. Now negative 18 minus 6. If I lose 18 and then I lose 6, I have lost 24. And in the long run, 
x equals negative 2. Okay, let's do one more problem, and then we'll be off to the work. What if I have Okay, this one will come out with a little different solution. So what if I have <clears throat> 8x minus 10 equals 8x plus 4? And one of them are um, bigger or smaller. So it doesn't matter which one I move. I can move this one to the other side. So let's go ahead and do that. Something very specific is going to happen here. When I do this, these cancel, giving me negative 10. Break down my equal sign. These cancel as well, leaving me with just positive 4. But negative 10 does not equal 4. So if you were to have a problem like this, where your variables cancel out and your numbers do not equal each other, then your answer will be no solution, which means there isn't any single integer, positive or negative, that I could substitute in for x and have that statement to come out to be true. There is no solution. Okay, that's it. Just about seven minutes for tonight. We will see you in the morning.